Brain tech here, where tech is made simple. As many of you may well know, in both Windows 10 and 11 currently, there is no support for the seconds to be displayed along with the time in the system tray in the bottom right hand corner of the taskbar. Although there is a registry hack uh, for this in uh, on Windows 10, this is not available on Windows 11. And currently there is no option to display seconds along with the time in the taskbar. Now if you thought this was a feature that would be rolling out anytime soon, Unfortunately, in a recent dev blog post, which was posted on the 11th of April, which was just a couple of days ago, Microsoft has said, yeah, now that computers have more than four megabytes of memory, can we get seconds on the taskbar as mentioned? Now they say the reason for um, uh, the uh, Windows operating system not having seconds in the taskbar was that originally this was due to the performance impact on a four megabyte system. Now, back in the day, as an example, when Windows 95 rolled out, which was many years ago, the minimum system requirements for the memory of Windows 95 was four megabytes. That's not four gigs, that's four megabytes, which is very, very low. Now, as many of you are aware, the default today is eight gigs and above in most cases. So why then can we not get seconds on the taskbar if computers are running a lot more memory than they did back in the day? As an example, four megabytes. And the long and the short answer to this, according to this blog post, is performance. And it's still performance, although we have more powerful PCs with much more memory these days. Now, I'm just going to summarize one example that Microsoft mentions in that blog post, which I will leave a link to down below if you're interested. They say on multi-user systems like terminal server servers, it's not one taskbar clock that would update once a second because um, servers in most cases, especially in enterprises and corporations, have much more than one user. So each user that signs in has their own taskbar clock that would need to update every second, which means that the system is spending all of its CPU and processing time updating clocks, which is not optimum in an enterprise environment. Now, uh, this is the same reason why on terminal server systems, Microsoft says, that carrot blinking is, uh, is typically disabled as server admins usually disable carrot blinking to reduce CPU usage um, because carrot blinking across 100 users, as an example, um, will contribute to much more CPU usage um, as many server, as mentioned, administrators disable the taskbar clock entirely to reduce the load on the CPU, the central processing unit and the processing power of that system. So once again, it's all to do with performance. Now, okay, that's the case, they say, with terminal server servers. But what about the average home user, like this laptop that I'm recording this video on today, which um, has a lot more memory than um, four megabytes of RAM, as we mentioned right at the beginning of this uh, video. And the answer is still performance, according to Microsoft, where they say, the answer is still performance. And then they give us right at the bottom here in this last paragraph, any periodic activity with a rate faster than one minute incurs the scrutiny of the Windows performance team because uh, periodic activity pre prevents the CPU from entering a low power state. Updating the seconds in the taskbar clock is not essential to the user interface, unlike telling the user where their typing is going to go or making sure a video plays smoothly. So according to this blog post and that paragraph, and um, the reason why we are not going to see seconds uh, uh, displayed in the future or currently in the Windows 10 and 11 operating system is still due to performance according to Microsoft. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.